grip stone and I'm on the rough side of the stone right now and I'm going to be sharpening down or grinding down past the rounded part on the on the blade and there's just no way you could cut yourself with that and the most dangerous knife in the world is a dull knife so I'm going to grind on both sides here and I put a little oil uh, at this time I'm using WD-40 but you can use vegetable oil, you can use motor oil, you can use anything you've got. Now the critical thing is, on a stone, that you have either enough oil on there or enough water to carry away the grindings that come off your knife. Otherwise, you get a buildup on there and you're not grinding at all. So I keep a little oil on there. I'm just going to grind here two or three ways. I've got a good firm grip on the knife. And I keep about a 22 degree angle on this, on it, the, the stone to the blade. Now when I grind down here, you notice my fingers are down here. So I'm putting pressure. Now this is a very flexible knife, so watch my fingers slide up the knife as I come towards the end of the blade. Now here I have to lift up with my wrist and also go like this in order to maintain that same angle all the way along. So I'm just grinding away here for a minute. We'll do this two times on each side. Then I'm going to check it. Well, this knife is pretty dull, so I might have to grind more than two times on each side in order to get down to the sharp point. Now again, see how I'm raising my elbow and also flicking my wrist. Grinding on here. A little bit more oil on there. I found that uh, WD-40 is a good cutting oil. Now you can actually get cutting oil from the from the knife shop, shop but most anything will work. Well, make sure there's the stone and the blade are grinding against each other. Now turn over. I never look until I've ground two times on each side on a knife that is real dull. And I don't think that I've gotten down to the point. When I say I get down to the point, I mean I will find a burr down there. I get a little bit of a burr. It means I've ground past the roundness on each side. So I've got to do just a little bit more, keeping a solid grip here, fairly light pressure here, but I move my hand along again towards the end of this flexible blade. And that's uh, three times that side. Now if you tilt this up too much, you can feel that grinding in, almost like it wants to cut. And that's too steep. You've got to keep that same angle. And I like about a 22 degree angle. Now I'm going to wipe this off and check to see if I've got a burr there yet. Now I can feel a burr. Now I'll just maybe see what I put my thumb on there. See that burr right there? It means I've ground right down to the point. So now I'm going to take that burr off of there and that's gone. There's no more burr down there. Now I'm very lightly going to just kind of true this up. Again, slide my hand along there, keeping pressure on all points of that blade. Now I'm going to turn this over. We're going to put it on the fine side. Again, a little bit more oil. Now I'm going to take those rough grindings off there. This is very fine stone doesn't cut much and the next time you sharpen this dock then you can you can just go to the fine edge if you want unless it's extremely dull and you need to grind down past mix or badly turned over uh, sharp edge so you don't want to wear your knife out but, so you don't always have to put it on the rough side just a tune up every once in a while is good on the fine side now at home I have a three-bladed stone that revolves in oil. And I can cut faster than on this, but 
this is just working fine. I'm going to take it off here in just a second. Fine tune it a little bit. Carefully, careful not to get too steep an angle on there because you could sharpen and then unsharpen your knife real quickly. Now very, very light pressure, just a final little tune-up. Doc, that knife is ready for filet. Great trip, Doc. Great trip. Nice size fish. What's the date today? Hey, this is uh, March 25th, 1993. Beautiful day here at Pillar Point. Beautiful. Doc knows how to fish, I'll tell you that. He showed us a few tricks. But those are nice, nice fish. About 12, 13 pounds, and uh, they're going to be great to eat, I'll tell you. Beautiful. Good, good, good trip, Doc. Great, off a of pillar point. Now that we have the knife sharpened, Doc, we can cut this very easily. If that were a dull knife, it would leave a jagged cut up the middle of that fish. But this is sharp. Let me tell you, that is sharp. Not a problem. And you'll notice these come off easy. Nice, clean, clean cuts here. And we're going to free Doc's friends here. Boy, that is a sharp knife. Very much so. Just move very slowly when you have a sharp knife, though. That's the key, but you won't get hurt if you have a good sharp knife. 